before or above. Okay. So okay, so let's see how that looks. All right, and let's just continue on tracking it. When does this thing end? When it's its when it's its last? All right, let's track it all the way to here. Okay, just to where you just get to the point where you got the. And now notice how I kind of went too far. That is really okay. You don't want the bullet. I don't want the bullet to just stay in the same position on the screen. I want there to be like a, you know, you can tell that it's moving. You know, that the camera is trying to keep up or whatever you want to call it. Or whatever you want to say. Okay, and that's where I'm going to end it. All right, let's see how that looks. Boom. Tracking, 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 end. Okay. And now this is just, the reason I'm doing this is just for, like, to give you some, uh, some scale or whatever, something to see in the background. Eventually, I'll be pay taking this character and I will be putting him into, um, and I don't like that. I'll be putting him into an environment, but for right now, I'm just putting something in the background so that you can see some movement in the background. And let's change the material color just so that it kind of strikes out a little bit. I don't care, but let's just... Okay, it's green. All right. I can green screen it now. Okay, but anyway. Boom! Tracking, 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 tra ah, that's probably not so good. You just don't get enough sense of speed. Now, it may be okay because eventually you're going to be putting effects in there. You know, I'll have like the trails or whatever, the bullet trail, that sort of thing. And I'll be having this thing spinning on its axis. In fact, I can do that right now. Um, if I go back to its, notice how I've got its locations keyed as well as its rotations. Well, I can get rid of all those rotation keys. Okay, and now I can start right here where it's shot, and I can, let's just make sure that I stick to keyframes that are already keyed. Now notice how it turned yellow there, so I'm on a keyframe. Boom. I haven't messed with its rotate its location at all, just its rotation. Or I mean, I haven't messed with its location, and now I'm just, my plan is just to mess with its rotation. All right, now the question is, which direction do I want it to rotate in? So. I'm going to go into its local rotation. I want to rotate along the object Z rotation. So I'm going to rotate along the local Z and let's rotate, what would you say, maybe a thousand, maybe 1200 um, degrees. So that'd be like four revolutions. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell that it's rotating. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. All right, now I need to insert that. Okay. And we need to be able to tell that it's actually rotating. So I'm going to make uh, some kind of mark. Alt-S, that's all I did. So now all I'm hoping is that now you can actually see it rotating through this the... Uh, screen a little bit. Alright, let's look at it real time. I could probably speed up that rotation significantly. Um, probably another 2400 radian or degrees. Boom. 
Okay, now uh, you can't even tell that it's rotating. Um, let's see how that works. It's rotating at a snail's pace. Let me take a look at its curves. Now all I want to know is its rotation, and really all I care about is its Z rotation now. <clears throat> At least I thought that's what I care about. Okay, I guess I care about its X rotation. Let's interpolate that linearly. Linearly. Let's see if that helped. Didn't really help. What I think I just need to do is just increase that about tenfold. Okay, let's take a look at that full speed. Let's just look at it rendered. Okay, now everything I said about the camera and keeping it the bullet in position, I'm going to go back on it. I'm going to keep the bullet in position, like it, try to keep it at the same point on this, uh, in, the, in the frame here. Okay, so let's go back and let's check out my keys on my camera. I thought I had my camera select. Yeah, I do. Now why can't I see my keys? Oh, there they are. All right. Now where does this all start? It starts right here. Bam. Okay, let's just try to... Now it's kind of corny, but let's try to keep it in the middle. So we'll go to that one. And now, actually, what would be the best to do is let's get rid of this keyframe. So it's going to just get to this position, stop. And now what I want to do is I want to have it kind of rotate and follow. So it's like my camera stopped, and now I'm going to look downwind and see where it's going. Okay? And now let's get it back into the middle. Actually, the thing to do would probably be right about here. And I probably should interpolate. Well, that might be okay because it'll be like my camera comes, you know, gets some, hits something or something to where it has to stop, and then it just tries to rotate. And so it just tries to follow. So it's like you're walking along beside it. You come up to something that you can't get past, and you got to just turn your head. That's kind of the effect we're going for here. It's like he shoots it. For some way, you're able to walk right next to the bullet. And then you hit something, and you got to watch it go on. Okay. Okay.